Hello everyone, my name is Ashok. I completed 10 years as a software engineer. But still I remember my first interview. That day I was so scared and I was so nervous. I entered into the interview room. Panel member asked me, give me your resume. And he asked me, explain about yourself. I told that, my name is Ashok. I completed my BTEC from so and so college. My native place is so and so. And I told that, I completed my Java training. I'm looking for Java developer job. That's it. After that, I was not able to speak anything because of that nervousness. Then you can guess the result. I got rejected in that interview. After attending a couple of interviews, I realized how to explain about myself in the interview. And from last few years, I'm taking several interviews in my company as a panel member. And I, I observed still many people are not able to explain about themselves in the interview. And if you attend any interview, explain about yourself, self-introduction is the first question that they are going to ask. Right? So if you are not able to explain about yourself properly in the interview, this video is for you. I'm going to give you three simple steps to explain about ourselves in the interview properly. Alright? Let's get started. The first step. We need to explain who we are, what is our experience and where we are working. In the second step, we need to explain what are our technical skills, what technologies we have used in our past experience. In third step, we need to explain what is our project and what are our roles and responsibilities. Let us see how we are going to do that. In the first step, Hi, my name is Ashok. I'm having total 5 plus years of experience as a Java full stack developer and currently I'm working for so and so organization. And in the second step, I'm going to tell that in the last 5 years of time, I got the opportunity to work with several technologies like Java, J2WE, Spring, Spring Boot, REST API, Microservices, AWS Cloud, Oracle Database, MongoDB, and several DevOps tools like Git, Maven, Jenkins, Sonar, Nexus, Docker, Kubernetes, etc. I'm having very good experience with Java and J2WE technologies. I'm having good experience with microservices architecture implementation. I'm having good experience with unit testing for our applications. And I'm having good experience on the application deployment process using Jenkins CI/CD pipelines. I'm having good experience with AWS cloud services like EC2, S3, RDS, Route 53, VPC, etc. That's it. We are going to tell our technical skills in the second point, second step. And coming to third step, we are going to explain what is our project and what are our roles and responsibilities. I'm going to explain like this. Currently, I'm working for banking sector project. So we have several modules in this project and I'm part of credit servicing layer. In this module, we are going to determine citizens eligibility for the credit card and our system will perform all the credit card operations like bill generations, transactions, statement generations, due reminders, sending the notices to the citizens, all these steps. And my project is following Azure methodology, so I'm responsible for below activities in my project. We we'll participate in the backlog grooming session to understand what are the pending items in the project. I will participate in the spring planning session to prioritize the stories of my project and I'm going to get the functional design document from the functional team. My project functional team is at client location. I will go through the functional design document. I will understand the requirement. If any queries are there on the requirements, then I will set up meeting with my functional team. I will get the clarifications for them. Once all my queries got clarified, then I will start the design part of my project, design part of my requirement basically. I'm going to design database tables which are required for my development. Once the designing is completed, then I will start the development part. I'm responsible to develop the front end as well as back end of my application. Once my development is completed, I will perform a unit testing. Is my code working as expected or not? Once unit testing is completed, then I will perform code review to identify any mistakes that I have done in that. Code review issues I will identify and I will fix them. Once code review issues got fixed, then I will integrate my code with other team members code in the Git repository. Once the code is integrated, then I will interact with the DevOps team to create the CI/CD pipelines for my project to automate build and deployment process. I will execute those pipelines to deploy our code. 
Once the code is deployed, I will test that code in the integrated environment like dev environment. If any issues are identified, I will fix those issues then I will inform to the SIT team about the development completed related stuff. Testing team will test the functionality of the complete project, will identify any issues, any bugs they will report. If the bugs are reported then I will fix those bugs and I will give the bug free code to the testing team. Our project UAT will happen at the client location. If any issues are identified in the UAT, we will analyze the issue is valid or invalid. If it is a valid issue then we will fix that issue and we will give bug free code for UAT team as well. And I am also responsible to participate in the production release calls and I am responsible for fixing any production issues also. So these are the roles and responsibilities of me in the current project. See here, I have divided the self introduction into three parts. Who I am, what is my experience, where I am working. That is the first step. In the second step I explain what are my technical skills. In the third step I explain what are my roles and responsibilities. So if you apply this principle to explain about yourself, then interviewer will get very good impression. I hope you understand this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more videos. See you in the next video.